Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm here with a legend, Chuck Zito. Chuck, what are you doing at the Arnold Classic? Hey, Dave, this is about my sixth uh, year. I always come here. It's one of the biggest things that I've ever seen. And I, I do the other on the martial arts side. I have a booth there. Are you selling the, what are you selling there? I have my book that's been out. I sell uh, shirts. I do uh, my autograph, my pictures, or anything. You've had one of the most varied uh, careers, I guess you could say. You were the pr original president, or well, not the original, one of the presidents of Hells Angels New York, correct? Yes. 25 years I was uh, Hells Angels. And then what made you leave? At, at what point? Well, you know what? Because I was starting to work a lot more. If I couldn't give 100% anymore, I, I was missing meetings. I was missing runs. It was time to quit. Uh, you, the reason why you were missing meetings is you got into TV and movies. Yeah, I've got the movies. I just finished actually a big movie with uh, Mickey Rock and Jason Statham and uh, 50 Cent. Oh, I heard about that movie. We start one uh, in four weeks with Sylvester Stallone, Jet Li, Jason Statham, Mickey Rock, Dolph Lundgren, Ben Kingsley, and yours truly, me. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go back and talk about the old movies, what are you doing in this new one? Yeah, it's basically like a mercenary. It's almost like a uh, an old uh, The Dirty Dozen. Wow, that sounds exciting. I was going to be one. a big budget, huh? Yeah. Now, Chuck, I saw you on Oz years ago. Best show on HBO. I, I, I have the to believe. Rados ever come to Oz will spank those guys. <laughs> now, what, when Oz ended, you kind of disappeared. I didn't really see that much, as much as. Now, what made you decide to make a comeback in the movie business? Well, I never really disappeared. I just started doing other things, and uh, just that I was working more on Oz. People saw me every week. I see what you're saying. Difference. So when you go from TV to start doing movies, you're not seeing as much. Which do you like better, TV or movies? Uh. As long as I'm getting paid, I don't care. Either or. But, uh, of course, TV. It's nice to get a uh, check every week. Now, what is it like when you walk around and get even, like, when people here recognize you and say, hey, oh, Chuck yeah, Zito, like that? Yeah, it's, I love it. I mean, you know, I'm very humble with fans. If it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't have a hit TV show. So I try to give back to the fans. I heard you mention earlier before that you were thinking about getting back in the ring. Yeah. But this time, it's not going to be the ring. It's going to be the cage. I'll beat all those guys ever to fight in the cage. How old are you now? I just turned 56, March 1st. 56? What would make it? But the girls, I'm 39. <laughs> I, I tell, I'm 41. I tell them I'm 39, too. What, now, let me ask you a question. What would make someone, you're a movie star, you're a TV star, you're a former Hells Angels. What makes you want to get back in the ring at 56 years old? You know what? I just lost, Dave. I actually lost 34 pounds training, and now I'm training with Henzo Gracie like five nights a week in New York when I'm there. So it's, it's great. I have trained in seven different styles, but I've never trained the ground before. Big difference, man. Big difference. When's the first fight going to be? Uh, well, we're trying to go probably fight for affliction. Wow. And, yeah, I did some commentating for them a couple weeks ago, so we're trying to uh, have a fight with them. I have a personal question for you because no. I'm 41 years old and all my, my shoulders are killing me. I can barely work out in the gym from all the years of heavy training. Do you have any injuries? I've got some <laughs> bad injuries. I have some bad motorcycle accidents. Slap my leg in there. My, my rotor cuff hurts, everything. But you, you just bite your tongue and then bear with it, man. Are you on the ground wrestling and, and punching people? Yeah. You know what? When I just started this ground stuff, my body's been places it's never been before, man. My, my leg's been around my head, my, my arms and arm bars. It's, it's, it's pretty wild. But I love it. Chuck, I wish you the best of luck. We're going to look for your man. movies. And uh, too, thank man. you very much. I look I've forward to seeing you. It's a lot. You gotta let us know when you're gonna be in the ring, cause I wanna. I'd like to follow that. Hey, Howard. First of all, Howard Stern's gonna promote the shit out of it. I have my show, how on Howard 101. You've got your own radio show. Oh, yeah, on, on Sirius. Yeah. So. When is that on? It's on Monday nights from 7 to 8 p.m. You heard that, Chuck Zito on, on Sirius Satellite Radio Mondays at. Uh... I'm serious, man. Listen, I'm serious. <laughs> He'll hurt you. Nice, Chuck. Turn around. Let's see the back of your jacket. Chuck Zito. Set up here at the Oil Classic, selling his wares. See him back in the ring, and you can see him on the big screen. Dave Palumbo, rxmuscle.com.